Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hacker AJ Raven and Amazon Prime has released the first season of a new show by the title The Boys. It's based on a comic book of the same name. Basically, it tells the story about what the world would be if they have superheroes, but then the superhero trade has been commercialized and these super powered people aren't really the best of people and they end up causing more harm than doing good and some of them are completely evil and then there's the group that's consi uh, that consists of humans that's called the boys uh, who are supposed to take revenge on the superheroes and it's it's a mess it does end up changing the superhero genre and i did watch the first seven episodes and now this is the eighth uh, episode which is the season one finale which is titled you found me so let's start. Hey boys. So that's oh, Homelander. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the leader of the Seven. The Seven is basically the premier group of superheroes around the world that save people around the world. And they work for an organization called WAT. And they make billions. And Homelander is a mess. He's he's mad. He's just evil, and he he has killed a lot of people. He's basically an evil Superman, but for comic book fans, that's not something very different. And there, then there's this entire mystery of children being experimented on, and that's why they got their powers. So this is a character who's known as the female in the comics. And she's a crazy killer, too. Yeah, like I said, babies were experimented on. That's Annie Starlight. She's the female lead. Yeah. Annie, honestly, I don't know how old when you let them die. I do like Annie as a character. She's quite likable. And she's had some good story arc moments. And then this is the Deep. He's a member of the Seven as well. And yeah, he's just a jerk, a complete jerk. And I think the writers want me to feel sorry for him, but I don't. Especially after how he handled Annie when she came uh, to the team. She can talk, she just doesn't talk. If I'm not wrong. That's how she was in the comics. Oh, something's up, you need to run. Oh. I don't want these people to die yet. I mean, they are eventually going to die, but not yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Queen Maeve. She wants to be a hero too, and she has a lot of layers to her character. I think she's also supposed to be a lesbian, I'm not really sure. Or maybe bi. Basically everyone is a, a, a little, uh, basically not straight in the seven. She kind of is showing what Starlight can be if she doesn't hold on to who she is. Oh, Billy's at Madeline's place. Oh, okay. I mean, Starlight has to come Can't save them. She just has to. She's there. Good. Awesome. Like, yeah, she she had to come. He's Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan's son, Huey. For those who don't know. Oh. They're going to try and fight him? Okay, How? He's super fast. Oh. oh. Okay. That's one way to see it. Yeah, he's going to die on his own, I guess. Yeah. Homelander isn't happy about Madeline. He has been warning her not to keep secrets, but she continued to do it. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. The way he's talking to her. Is he going to like break her neck? Punch her? Slap her? Take her. Oh! Oh! Bye-bye, Madeline. And now what? Billy is just going to detonate the entire place? It won't end up killing Homelander. 
the baby, the baby's dead, I guess. So he ended up saving Butcher. Why? Oh! His wife's alive! That's Homelander's son? I mean, I'm not... I can't be sure. Mommy didn't tell you. What? I'm your father. But I don't trust you. Our family. I don't trust... Oh, yeah, he does have powers. Uh, they changed stuff from the comics and that ending it's a good thing that amazon has re already i'm just going to pause this that amazon has already uh green li lit a second season so yeah i'll be doing a written review of this for the geekery the link to that will be down in the comment section below i enjoyed it this show didn't really have something new to say especially because we have seen this type of stories where superheroes end up turn uh, turning evil and uh, being greedy. There's an entire different alternate universe in Marvel as well as DC and other comics. So this show didn't say anything new, like I said, but it was still enjoyable. And if you are looking forward to watching a binge, a bingeable show that has a lot of gore, a lot of action, mystery, and likable characters, then yeah, you should check out the boys. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys later.